So in this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize uh, correlation analysis. And so what you'll see here is one, I already have Stata opened. I already have some data loaded into it. Um, and in the output here, you'll see that I've already actually done a correlation analysis of two variables. Um, feel free to see the other video on actually computing a correlation to see how, you know, how to perform this. And so this shows uh, statistically the relationship between, uh, so this is school level data. Uh, and so this shows the statistical relationship between a school's average ELA score and a school's average math score um, within third grade. So let's say that we want to visualize this because let's say you're presenting, um, you know, findings to someone that doesn't have, a, you know, a statistical background. So you just want to visualize the relationship and then talk about the statistics side of things. You can do that pretty easily with a scatter plot. And in this case, uh, in, in visualizing a relationship, the type of correlation that you're using, it doesn't really matter. So if you're using a Pearson's correlation or a Spearman's correlation, the way you visualize them is the same. And so that can be done really easy with the scatter command. And so uh, what we would do is we would just use our two variables here, um, math mean score, and then I can scroll back up here to do ELA mean score, right? So I just type the scatter command, and then my two variables, hit enter, and there we go. And so you can see that it shows, uh, you know, one variable on each axis, because math was the first uh, variable that I included. Um, it shows math on the y-axis. So if you're thinking in terms of like dependent and independent variables, or you're thinking of one of these as an outcome variable, you would want to use your outcome variable first, or use that first in the command. And then your, your predictor, your independent variable, it would be the second one. So here, each dot represents a different observation. So there's a different dot for each school um, that has a value for both of these variables, which up here in our correlation analysis, we know that that's 448 schools. So there are 448 dots on here. Uh, and so what it does is it shows for each school their uh, ELA score, average ELA score, and their math, uh, average math score for third graders. Um, and so what you can see based on the shape of this, so I, um, it's a very, you know, kind of a tight line or more, you know, fairly tight line, right, um, that slopes up and to the right. And so this shows us visually what we can see in the correlation table over here. So this tells us that there's a strong positive relationship uh, and so that has to do with the sort of the slope of a line that you could draw through here, right? Strong and positive. Um, and the p-value has more to do with how tight this grouping is. So if you saw a really dispersed cloud, then the p-value is going to be higher. Uh, or like in this, where the p-value is very low, you see everything's really clustered kind of along a line. And so that is how you, um, sorry, so that's how you would visualize a scatter plot. And then once you've got this generated, you could use the graph editor to change the labels and add titles and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, if you wanted to include a, a line, like a fit line through this um, uh, scatter plot, you can do that using very easily using the two-way command. which lets us layer uh, graphs over top of one another. And so our first graph is going to be the same scatter plot that we just saw. And then our second graph is going to be, we want the same variables, but instead of a scatter plot, we just want to change this to L fit, which is a linear fit. And then we hit enter. And then we get a graph that shows the same scatter plot, but has a line drawn through it, which shows us um, basically the slope of the, the correlation. And so that's all there is to it, to visualize a correlation.